dedicated her life to empowering you. And she joins me now this morning. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it so much. And uh, first of all, how did you get into it? Well, it all really started when I was 16 years old. I was at a career fair in high school, and I remember this woman approaching me. She came up to me, and she told me that I had a great look, and that I should consider becoming a model. She told me that I should come into her office, and that she would help me put together my portfolio as well. So that's really where it all started. From that moment on, that's when I realized that, you know what, this woman sees something in me, and possibly I could be a model with her help and with her guidance and mentorship. So from there, I started doing editorial print work and as well being involved in a lot of fashion shows as well. So it really kick-started your career. Yeah. Is it difficult to be a plus-size model in this world where everyone's constantly dieting and everyone wants that stick thin, almost starving image? Is it difficult? Well, you know what? Starting off, when I was 16, I never really focused too much on my body image and was so conscious of how I looked and my appearance or how much I weighed. But once I got into the modeling industry, I did feel pressure to be thin. And I started putting myself on a diet and just trying to meet unrealistic standards that were not working for my body. At the time, I didn't know anything about plus size modeling at all. And I think what, you know, I wish I knew when I was 16 years old is that I could have been my natural size and I didn't have to go through all that dieting and that I could, well, basically the very thing I was trying to get rid of would actually end up to be the key to my success today, mm -hmm. which I find just so amazing. And I'm so excited to see that you know, curvy women are making a comeback and that beauty is not defined by our size. And for young women who are listening to the segment today, just to understand that you don't have to change yourself to succeed. It was until I accepted my body for who I was that I started to see success and results from that. So embrace yourself Absolutely. and embrace what makes you yes. different. That's a great Absolutely. message yes. for women out there today. And you have done a, a lot of humanitarian work uh, internationally and locally. You just talked about yeah, well, um, I had the opportunity to be involved with UNICEF Canada and the United Nations Association, Calgary branch here. I'm also the ambassador for Feed One Project, which is a social business that supports nonprofits alleviating nutritional deficiencies. I'm also a spokesperson for Hearts for Peace as well, which is another cause that I'm passionate about as well. Um, I just, I'm so grateful for the opportunities that I've had and the people that have recognized my work and want me to lend my face to their campaigns or give a voice for the causes that they're passionate about as well. Um, local designers here have also reached out to me. Um, Great. You want to give a shout yes. out quickly to one cool you know, girl? Ruby Ellen, she's making this fantastic dress and I just think she's so awesome and she definitely accommodates all sizes. Not only Ruby Ellen, but there's so many Canadian designers as well that have reached out to me and working with me. Uh, if anybody wants to check her out, um, she's located in Kensington. And this is a local professional seamstress that's doing a great job. And at the same time, she's an active citizen and giving back to the community as well. And we connected. Promoting the local. Thank you Absolutely. so much, Sunday. You're a very busy Thank lady, you. very inspiring lady. Thank you. And I hope uh, a lot of people out there are watching this today. Thank, Thank you. you so much for being here. Appreciate, Appreciate it so much. It is 7 o'clock. You're watching CTV Morning Live. Really bad, Not healthy, uh, healthy, very impactful. So that was a great segment. And I often encourage uh, Todd to give you a 